video, we talked about importing an image and resizing an image into the Stitch Artist for um, digitizing. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Magic Wand tool versus the Draw With Point tool. Magic Wand tool can be useful when you are trying to grab portions of an image that are very easy to grab or um, not too detailed, or you can grab them that are a little more detailed as well, and I'm going to show you how. Um, first, I'd like to say that I prefer the draw with points as I feel it's more flexible and I can do so with less nodes. But let's grab it. Okay, now you can see here, instead of grabbing all the room portion, it gets divided by the different shadowing and shades um, in the room. So we can change this by changing the sensitivity over to the right. Let's bring it quite a bit up to 75. Hmm, not enough. Let's continue. There we go. Brought it up to 120, and now we have the entire room grabbed. Um, entire end of the room. Let's click Enter, and let's apply a fill stitch. And there we go. So now you do have the entire bottom portion of the broom um, in a fill stitch. We could add those other little lines to give it a little more definition, uh, maybe in a bean stitch. But let's take a closer look at what we have going on here. We have a lot of nodes and we're at hundred percent so we can see a lot of these nodes are just right on top of each other. Anywhere there is one of these little white nodes the needle does have to hit and so you can cause a little bit of bird nesting and things of that nature when you have too many nodes on top of each other. Um, let's try to find that little area that I was looking at right there. I don't think we need all these nodes. We can go ahead and click to get rid of some of these nodes, which is definitely a way to handle it. And you can adjust each one of these nodes to fill in where it needs to be. So none of that really is a problem. It does grab your basic image and it does allow you to have a good start on what you want. So this is definitely an option when it comes to um, digitizing, but you can't just grab it with a magic wand, push a button and have it done. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done in here in order to not have the birds nesting, in order to um, try to eliminate the artifact line you're going to see here. And what that is, is it shows that you're going to start filling here, and then it's going to come over here, and it's going to start filling here, and this is where the fill ends. Sometimes it'll be very obvious when it's stitched out, sometimes it will not. Um, it really depends, but I like to try to eliminate those the best I can, and you can do that by manipulating things as well. Now let's try to grab the pumpkin. Mm, that's way too much of the pumpkin, isn't it? Because it's oh, grabbing the broom over here too. Let's go last. See if we can just, just get the pumpkin out. We can get just one section of the pumpkin. Let's try. Nope. We're either going to grab it section by section or we're going to grab including the broom. The sensitivity um, doesn't change from either one section or the entire thing. There's no in between. So if we were to do that, let's hit enter and grab that. And then we would have to grab each section And then we would have to, oh, look at these lines here. These aren't good, are they? I don't like that. What I would do instead, and here's why I like the draw with points so much better. Let's get rid of that. What I would do instead is I would draw with the points here. And I would go around the entire pumpkin. Now, you can tell I'm not being super careful right now because each of these nodes are adjustable and we're going to still get the shape we want in the end. Let's give it a fill and let's change that color to an orange so we can see what we're working with here. Now when it comes to these nodes, very very easily I click on it so it's blue instead of white and then I double click on it and let's make it a cusp and that's going to allow me to move one side at a time. If I don't do that, 
what happens when I move one side, the other sides adjust as well. So that is one way to adjust this. And you can see very simply I outlined this pumpkin and it really didn't take much more than it does to try to grab it with a magic wand, even if it does work somewhat decently. So there's two different ways that you can grab simple objects. I would go ahead at this point and we'd add detail. You can do that many different ways. We could just go ahead and take some lines like that. Let's make it a hmm, Sasiko stitch. I hope I'm saying that right. And let's make it a darker, kind of a goldy yellow. So by doing that, you can see a little line comes through here. And we can add the detail that way. We could make a hole if we wanted to within this pumpkin for the mouth. And we could outline the mouth. Um, let's do that a second. Let's go back on the pumpkin. Let's go to add a hole. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Because it's a very large portion, I don't want to stitch it on top of the pumpkin. If it was a small portion, stitching it right on top wouldn't give it too much. But because of that large amount, I'm going to make a hole in the pumpkin. It was really easy. I just clicked this button here. I outlined where I wanted the hole, and I clicked return. Same thing here, I can adjust each individual node to make it exactly where I want it. This one here, I'm going to click on it, make it blue, and then I'm going to double click on it and give it a cusp. So I can again move these handles independently instead of having it affect both sides. Very simple. That is kind of a step one into grabbing some images and applying a fill stitch. I hope it's useful.